about our team, it's, it's a great group. I mean, we have high expectations. And it's interesting that you've been to the tournament two years in a row, you have three of your best players back, and yet Long Beach has picked to win it, and they should be. Long Beach had a great year last year, and they got four starters back, and we have three. Long Beach added a couple junior college pieces that will really help them. We added a couple transfers that should really help us. Both teams are going to be really deep, but the whole Big West is going to be really improved. You're looking at, I think, four teams that have a chance to be top 100 teams in the country. And not in my 13 years have we had that in the league. We've had three. We've never had four. And I think this year we have a legitimate chance to have something of that level. Uh, been an interesting time with Orlando being sidelined with an Achilles injury and just kind of nursing it back. And we're being very cautious there for obvious reasons. Yeah, he's a young man we need a lot out of come January, February, March. We don't want to risk anything early here. Hurrying him back for exhibition games, hurrying him back for scrimmages just doesn't make sense. So we're being cautious there. But what it's allowed in practice is a time for other players to step up. And really who has had a spectacular practice since we've started from day one has been James Nunley. James Nunley is a whole, he's a next level player. He's grown a ton as a player, as a leader, as a teammate. The way he's, in, he's interacting with his teammates, the way he's demanding of them, the way he's practicing, how good he's become defensively is really impressive. And I would say right now, without hesitation, he's the best defender on our team. And I'm really excited about Jaime. Jaime now weighs between 255 and 260. And he's huge. And he's moving as well as he's ever moved. He's better down on the low block. He's playing at a high level. He's still got the same edge to him. He's pretty physical. He, he's uh, definitely the, the tough guy on our team. He's not afraid to stand up to anybody or knock somebody down. You need that when, you, when you're going to battle in competitive games, especially our kind of preseason games that we have. So Jaime's playing at a high level. Greg's improved. We'll have to wait and see. We say every year he's better, and he has been, and he's been better. But we have to see if it manifests itself in the games. So that's our returners. The new guys, Nate at the point guard. Nate's look good. Nate's really buying in on the defensive end. He got a lot better. And an interesting thing, when you're a point guard at our place and you have the weapons around you that we have, we need a guy to run the team. We need guys to run the team and set the tone defensively and distribute the ball and make great decisions, be a coach on the court. And that's a role Nate is getting better at every day and buying into more every day. And it's not necessarily what comes natural to him. Nate likes to score. He's used to scoring. He scored a ton in high school. And so for him to buy into picking his spots where he shoots and when he scores is a real adjustment, but he's doing a great job of it. Keegan's been off and on with injury, hasn't been able to practice consistently. When he does practice, he is, he's instinctually excellent. He makes really good reads, moves without the ball, will be a great role player to play around our other guys, will help make other players better. Uh, Kyle Boswell, another returning, looks good, shoot the ball lights out. Uh, he, he's, a, he's a little bit fragile. He got injured again. He missed a week. Now he's just starting back yesterday. When he's healthy, he's been shooting the ball at a higher level than anybody on the team in terms of long range. That will be a nice role to put out there on the floor. You can imagine the number of times that Jaime and Orlando get double teamed. Having a shooter on the perimeter is really important. Another shooter on the perimeter. We think there's times where, where we will have four shooters on the floor surrounding Jaime. Okay, that's really important if they're going to double team and we're getting open shots with guys that can shoot. Or when Orlando or not penetrate, that they're kicking it to open shooters so we can hurt you. That's something that we're really looking forward to. I think everybody in our program has been extremely impressed with the five new freshmen. They're, uh, they're very mature on their approach to the game. They're very mature on their work ethic in the weight room or, or in practice. They're very mature in terms of how they, they handle coaching and how well they handle the coaching. And they're all pretty darn impressive athletes in their own right. So the young kids are going to end up being good. We're trying to make decisions if we can afford to redshirt any of them. We haven't made those decisions yet. We know three of them, if not four of them, have to play because they'll be in our top ten. And so that says a lot about freshmen when you can put four of them in your top ten on a veteran team like we have and a team that's expected to compete for the Big West Championship and expected to play in postseason. So that's it. I always got to lead this, help lead this team, you know, in Orlando, you know, Jaime, Greg, Nate, you know, uh, we're like, we're the veterans in this team, so I knew I was going to have to have a bigger role with JJ, John, you know, those guys left, so I just knew I was going to have to play a bigger role, and I had to do it.
how anxious have you been for this? Man, I haven't got much sleep. Uh, <laughs> you know, just leading into the first game next Saturday, and then our first scrimmage this Saturday. Um, it's been a long time coming, and uh, I just hope I'm ready for it when it hits me in the place next Saturday. I mean, <clears throat> making the tournament just not not enough. You know, um, I know talking with these guys. You know, we've seen how these other men made it into the Final Four and made it to the National Championship game. And I don't know why that can't be us, so. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how I feel about this team. I think we have the talent. I think we have the mentality and the you know, attitude and the right, the right guys leading us you know, in the right direction for, for us to have a special year. So, you know, with the support of everybody, I think we can make this, make this happen. This fall, ever since the first day of practice, we uh, competed very well, and on the defensive end, we're improving, and that's where it all starts. And I really think talent level-wise, we have just as much talent as a team that went 30 and 5 in New Mexico, and with the same amount of level of coaching from all our coaches who will give us their all every day, I really think that this can be a special year here. You have to challenge them, but I think the idea of it is that, that you're laying out expectations and you're tapping into where they want to go. They want to be good. So if you want to be a great team, you better practice great. You better compete at a high level. Nate made a great comment down there that his team that was 30 and five and started at the defensive end, they really competed. If you don't compete, you're not going to be great. I thought, I thought Mark French had a really good thing. He started on the women's side when he had habits of excellence. Really a great saying when you think about it. You better have great habits if you want to be excellent. And you know, that's really when it starts. And, and when you play, when you have great players and they're motivated, you're not having to yell at them very often about it. Okay? They grab guys that aren't working hard enough and they, they talk to them. They get guys' levels up. They do a lot of the coaching on their side and raising the level and raising the expectations and demanding it out of themselves. My job is to enforce that.